What's up guys? So I wanted to share a clip from one of my athletes uh, reports that I got this week. Um, I think it's one of those uh, one of those uh, kind of aha moments where you know it kind of helps to put things in perspective when you look at uh, this sport in a certain way and as far as prep mainly is that you know when we prep you know yes it's hard you know we go through um, weeks and weeks of work and at times it gets pretty rough you know the hunger levels get high and you know energy levels can be low at times and you know during those times we tend to uh, almost get on that I feel sorry for myself mode where oh I'm hungry I'm hungry you know I'm going, this is such hard work and you know wah 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 we start you know crying and I think at all of us at one point or another um, we're guilty of that and um, you know, in 2011, um, my stepfather was going through cancer, and uh, you know, uh, you know, at the end of that battle, he ended up passing away. But um, I remember when I found out that he had cancer, and then he started going through treatment, and I saw, you know, him kind of deteriorating and eroding. Um, you know, it put things in perspective for me. It's like here I am prepping, and it's a choice. It's a choice for me to lose body fat to put myself uh, in a position where I'm losing fat and I'm getting hungrier and hungrier and um, you know energy levels at times get lower and um, you know you, you get in the, those little funks where you're like oh man this is so hard but when I saw what he was going through I'm like I have a choice I could just say you know what today I'm hungry so hungry I could go in there and eat and I'll feel better um, or I could say, you know what, I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit this prep and I'll be, I'd instantly be, be fine. You know, whereas he didn't have that choice. He was stuck with cancer. He had no choice but to face it head on, battle, battle it. And, you know, those, those days when he, when I saw him at his absolute worst, he had no choice. That's what his reality was. But bodybuilding, I mean, bodybuilding, all you're trying to do is build muscles. It is so trivial in, in in the grand scheme of things. In real life, it's like it's so trivial. And um, so, basically, what I'm trying to tell you guys is, this sport is it's just that it's a sport. It, I mean, if you're worrying about trying to to get shredded, or you're worrying about how much you're going to put up in the gym as far as the lifts, um, you know, if you're if you're worried about this, worried about that, over over analyzing this, over analyzing that. You got to put things in perspective. So I want you to listen to this young man who, basically, he's in his early 20s and he's already getting it. He's already getting it, and um, it's just to me, it just kind of re re-inspired me um, for my prep. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a great weekend, and I will talk to you guys soon. Something else that just put things in perspective for me this week was I watched a video in class or a movie actually about. Um, kids in Kenya who, I mean, um, they were trying to get scholarships for school, but it's just the hardships that they go through, um, you know, studying at night, they don't have electricity, they have to use a, um, they have to use a candle, there's, um, they live in, they live in adobe huts basically, you know, just wood and, uh, mud on the outside, and, after they get out of class, they have to go work with their parents in the fields, and after that, then they have to study. And you know, you really see um, just how good that we have it out here. And you know, this is when I get down sometimes, thinking, you know, how uh, these lines aren't coming in, or I feel like I'm not losing weight. It's just, uh, you know, you got to look at how trivial this really is you know you know what I mean it's uh there are much bigger things than me having uh, shredded glutes so uh, that really put things in perspective for me and just um, gave me a kinda a new outlook on this prep and you know um, it just got me really motivated you know um, all the hardships they go through and you know I'm just thinking prep is hard so I'm ready to uh, you know, step on the gas during this prep. Uh, that really motivated me, and um, I'm just ready to, you know, if the calorie cuts are going to come, if um, 
whatever you see that we need to do next week, you know, I'm ready for it. And uh, I think the rest of prep is going to be, uh, as long as I just keep thinking about, you know, things like that when things get hard, that, that's going to really help me out. And uh, that's basically it for this week.